So my entrepreneurship journey started when I was just a kid. I was born in Hong Kong. I moved to the U.S. in 1987 with my mom and dad and sister. My father started out in the kitchen making Americanized Chinese food. During that time, it was a life changer. My sister took care of me. I was six at the time, so she was pretty much my babysitter while my parents worked anywhere from nine to ten daily. Now, as a six-year-old, you started learning how to entertain yourself. There was no social media at that time or anything that kids do nowadays. So around the age of eight or nine, you know, I picked up um, collecting basketball cards. I had quite the collection. I saw an opportunity as a kid that other children in my neighborhood were into sports cards. And at the time, in order to get to the um, closest card store, which were popular back then, was to cross this um, main street, which most parents don't trust their eight-year-old or nine-year-old to ride their bikes across. So I saw an opportunity to, hey, why not start a card shop in my bedroom? So um, that's exactly what I did. I purchased cards in bulk and then I would resell them to the neighborhood kids. I learned how to hot glue and reseal the packages so I would um, take the good ones out and I would sell them at a premium and then I would reseal the package and sold it um, until the parents found out. You know, my sister got an opportunity to go to Disney World and I remember, um, you know, I made enough money to um, be able to tag along and pay for my own trip. That's when entrepreneurship first started. But when it comes to marketing, it's being able to understand your customers. At the time, I understood what the challenge was for these neighborhood kids. You know, they couldn't just go to a card shop because they needed to cross the street. They needed their parents' ride to get there. But at the same time, everyone wanted to buy Upper Deck and um, Flare cards. So there was a demand for it. And what I did was I made it more convenient for them to be able to do what they wanted to do anyway. That's exactly what we do here at J29. You know, there's all these obstacles and challenges to your customer. And we strategize and we figure out what they are wanting and how do we make it more accessible and how do we amplify that message to the right audience. Sometimes we make marketing way more complicated than it really needs to be. Um, if a kid could do it, I know you can. Really too late to